have your copycat Olive Garden creamy delicious chicken gnocchi soup. We're gonna go over all the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some butter, some garlic, you can use fresh or you could do the pre-minced stuff, some heavy whipping cream, some flour, some milk, low sodium chicken broth, shredded carrot, uh, if you want to do closer to Olive Garden style, then use a shredded. I personally prefer the cut and diced, peeled, chopped carrots, but I was lazy. In here, I have a whole chopped white onion and about a cup to a cup and a half of chopped celery, two cups of dark meat white, or excuse me, dark meat chicken, and then I got a rotisserie chicken and just shredded it. And whatever juices were left, I poured it in here, so I'm going to use that in my soup as well black pepper, some thyme, some, a pack of gnocchi, salt, and then Parmesan cheese optionally for spreading. So we're gonna start off and put about three to four tablespoons of butter and then one to two tablespoons of oil and let that melt in this pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt this and then I'm gonna add the chopped celery and onion and we're gonna saute those until they're translucent. Also, I totally forgot, you're gonna need some baby spinach, duh. Ugh. This is why I'm refilming this video, but yeah, don't forget the baby spinach like me. So my butter is quite hot, so I'm gonna add the celery and the entire onion. And we're gonna saute this till translucent. Do not rush this step. You don't want a raw onion flavor in your soup. I'm gonna do this on a uh, medium heat. Go ahead and add two spoonfuls of the pre minced garlic, or if you have the fresh minced garlic, you can do four to six cloves depending on how garlicky you like. Then you're gonna mix this 30 seconds to a minute until it's fragrant. Then we're gonna move on to adding flour. Okay, now I'm going to Put in a quarter cup of flour, and this is gonna help thicken our soup. Yeah, shoddy is thick. And then I'm gonna add the rest of it. And then I'm gonna let this flour cook out for a couple minutes, because I don't like any kind of flour, raw flour taste in my soup. So don't rush this step, patience is key. It will be worth it. And it's on low-ish heat. Okay, we've let the flour taste kind of cook out for a few minutes, and now I'm gonna add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in three cups of milk. You can use any milk of your choice. We're gonna let this warm up, and after this is warmed up, we're gonna add four cups of low sodium chicken broth. Low sodium is so you can control how salty it is and not oversalt your food. Now we're gonna add four cups of our low sodium chicken broth to our soup and bring that to a simmer. Now we're gonna add two cups of shredded dark meat chicken. I also put the juice from rotisserie chicken here. You can't use any kind of chicken you have on hand and cook it yourself, but I like rotisserie because it's already made for me. I'm gonna give that about a minute or two to heat up. 
and then we will almost be done with the soup. I love the soup. It's easy. It's delicious. I physically this time decided to break up my gnocchis in the pack because they're kind of stuck together and a little bit hard to break up when you pour them in. Now we're going to just add those gnocchis in. This part's kind of hard. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. And these are going to take a couple minutes to cook. I'm also going to add in some of my shredded carrot. That was about three handfuls of shredded carrot. If I'm doing chopped carrot, I'll do about a cup, cup and a half. I'll do a cup and a half ish usually because I like it kind of hearty. But yeah, we will give this a stir and then give this a couple minutes with the lid slightly cracked on medium heat to cook. And then we'll come back and do our final steps. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's give it a stir. We're gonna add some seasonings. And again, all of this is to taste. So you can add more or less if you like. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna let each person add more, add more as they see fit. I'm gonna add, ooh, a little more than half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of thyme. Okay. Good in here, okay. I'm gonna mix this. The soup is looking thick and creamy, amazing. I'm gonna add some spinach. You wanna add this step in the end. I chopped up some baby spinach. This is about two, maybe three handfuls, depending on how much you're fond of spinach. But this is gonna really wilt down. And if you give it about one minute or so, you're ready to plate this delicious soup and add Parmesan seasoning to taste. And we will be back for the taste test. Okay. We are looking at this gorgeous soup. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bowl. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna add a little Parmesan. If you could do fresh grated, that's better, but I went the easy route. Amazing. Add a little salt. I'm gonna add some pepper. And you have your copycat Olive Garden creamy delicious chicken gnocchi soup. You will enjoy this. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do.